Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Um, keep in mind, some of the messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into this reading. So you're starting off with engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. You've got paradise. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> okay, hold on a minute. What? What the heck? Oh, okay. Hmm. You got coffin. <coughs> Endings, bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, tra Virgo. There's somebody here, um, like, uh, I feel like there's somebody here that wants to, to get engaged or wants to talk about engagement, maybe even propose, um, have a new start with you, a new beginning. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the message. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. There's somebody here who's like, wow. Let me get some romance angels. What's going on? Engagement ring partnership you complete me you complete me <laughs> you know how i am my jerry okay jerry you complete me all right what do you got here you deserve love you know what i saw when that first fell out i saw dream lover isn't that a song dream lover come rescue me da, da, da. isn't that who is that does anybody know tell me dream lover is there somebody here I, I feel like even though that says you deserve love you are lovable like somebody feels that way about you and we'll find out who um maybe somebody that you're already involved with but <laughs> they think you're a dream lover like you're a dream love for them okay what's going on what the heck keeping an open mind loving yourself first getting to know each other so virgo um yeah, I mean, somebody's like having this, ooh, Virgo's it. I want to be with Virgo. I could marry Virgo. This is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Even if we don't get married, I just want that with Virgo. This is beautiful. All right, let's get a little bit more. I want to, Virgo, we need to know who this is. We need to figure out who this is. If I sound a little hyped up, it's because I worked out for an hour and on a shit ton of coffee. So please understand, my mood's a, a bit elevated today. <laughs> I don't know. I'm crazy. I'm on the cusp. What can I say? Okay. Six of cups. So yeah, there's someone here who's like, oh, Virgo, this could be somebody from your past, like that you knew as kids, like this person, like they're either a widow or something's ended in their life. Um, like a relationship has ended. Um, and they want to like hook up with you. They want to see you again this person um they've always had a thing for you and for others y this could have been someone that you knew from before who um is like <sighs> tongue wagging here tongue wagging you are a dream love for them okay let me see let's find a little bit out here and see who this is two of pentacles oh there's the there's you again okay this person's had a secret thing for you virgo Yes, yes, yes. For a really long time. Mm. Moonlight. Dreams. Dream lover. You are a dream lover for this person. Okay, Virgo, listen. This person has quite a few has they have a lot of options in their life. They have a lot of paths they can go down. They have a lot of choices. But they're choosing you. I choose you, Pikachu. They're choosing you. Okay, this person, Pisces, Cancer, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person is choosing you. Okay. They're making this decision. Let me see. They think you're just like, you're like the moon, Virgo. Like you have... Um, I'm just, you know, it's paradise for this person about you. You're very like with that moon energy. They see that you're, you're, you're very like mysterious. That's the word. This person thinks you are your mysteriousness. It's really weird. Um, well, it's not because you kind of are in a lot of ways. You have like, you know, 
a lot of Virgos. I know a lot of Virgos. Now, me, I'm a Virgo, but I'm also on the cusp of Leo. So Leo's the one running this channel, just so you know. But I understand Virgo, believe me. And I'm a I'm an extrovert. I'm not I'm not an introvert at all. I'm I'm like out there. <laughs> maybe maybe way out there with space aliens, but I'm definitely a very extroverted person. Like I will go up and shake hands and talk to people out of the blue. I don't care. I'll talk to anybody. I that's just what I do. You know, it's just who I am. However, this Virgo in this story, much more reserved and a much more mysterious okay um you're kind of like but at the same time you're very down to earth and practical this is how they view you like you have this kind of like thing about you where you're they see you as being someone who's like real like ethereal and mysterious and you know you you prefer to be out by the moon and you know doing all kinds of like psychic stuff and all that but then you also they see you as someone who's like you're also like sitting right down there in the boardroom talking politics or business you know so you got like a little bit of both like you've got like this practical magic that's you that this is how this person they might have even used these words you're like practical magic to this person this is such a strange message um i mean you're just like an enigma to them you know what i mean like you are their dream lover you are their like they can't seem to get a grasp of you or get a handle on you and you know like you're like like clark kent by day and then like superman at night or clark Clark Ketta Kent and Supergirl at night. I don't know. You just have like some kind of, I don't know. You're like, are you a shapeshifter? What the heck is going on? This is how this person sees you. It just doesn't, doesn't go. You know what I mean? Like you're so opposite of yourself. That's what they see. They're like, wow, you know, one minute Virgo's like writing poems and the next minute they're, you know, um, running a company. Like <laughs> you have a little bit of this practical sense about you and then you've got like this magical side and i don't know i feel like this person is you're confusing them and and so that's making them be more interested in into you so much so that 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 like you're their dream lover <laughs> and they want to love you oh, it's crazy this is how they see you virgo this is how they see you and but they have like really good memories of you or they think you're also very kind and sincere you know but you you have like these hidden this hidden side about you that's very intriguing to them okay this person has a lot of options and i feel like they've been contemplating a while um to come towards you i, I just it feels very like magnetic in some strange way okay yeah there you go <laughs> a lot of options here you're a dream fantasy for this person <laughs> maybe even um they see you as being a bit unapproachable some of you are like well how come they feel that way i haven't heard anything because they think you're a bit unapproachable you know they don't know what side's going to show up <laughs> virgo <laughs> they're figuring how can i catch virgo at the right time you know what i mean let me see you i gotta take a look at you i, I gotta see you practical magic you are practical magic are practically magic <laughs> all right let's see take a look at you so you've got the chariot you have the four like yeah you're like in movement and yet you're disappearing at the same time <laughs> virgo it's like you with the chariot you, it's like you're a go-getter you know what you want you go after it but somehow you do it like you have a silent um way about you like you silently go after what you want. That's what I'm hearing. Um, but you're very intelligent too with the Page of Swords. Like you're, you have, I always, I always feel like the most intelligent people are the ones who are the most curious. You know, people who are not curious and don't want to seek answers for things. It's because they just are dumb. And I feel like for you, Virgo, like you're always, you're curious, you're intrigued, you, you like to learn. You know, you're, you're, you're a student of life. I feel like you have a very high IQ as well. And you just kind of know how to operate and navigate through life. Hmm. That's really intriguing. 
No wonder. Virgo, you're a very intriguing person. I just want you to know that. You're always seeking truth. You're always you're always looking for truth. Yep. Ace, Ace of Swords. You have like light bulbs going off in your head all the time. Now, I'm not seeing any cup energy here with you. Mostly swords and um, the chariot. You're on a quest for truth. Um, I think, Virgo, you could actually just sit in a library and study all day. Minus some breaks. You know what I mean? But like, I, f I feel like you're someone who's very fascinated in a lot of different things and, and how things work. Yeah, now you got the two of cups. Um, but you also want someone who's going to mirror that energy in some way. You know what I mean? I mean, I see you. Um, you're definitely looking for yeah yeah i read something in a book once like virgos <clears throat> are always on a, a quest for their true love and if the person that they're with turns out not to be their true love or if they're with someone and they see their true love somewhere else virgo will leave their person and go for that true love like virgos are always on a quest to find their their true love in life that's why most of y'all are here. You know what I mean? Um, and you're looking for that soulmate partnership. And this person coming here to you, I mean, they view you as like perfect. You're like this beautiful disaster. You're like this perfectly imperfect person. <laughs> All right. Tell Virgo, who is this person? Like I said, for some of you, this is someone that you already know. I will tell you that. Try to tell Virgo who this person is. Who's fantasizing? Who's like really? Who is this person that's crazy about Virgo? This Virgo. A little more clarity. Okay. Page of Cups. The Lovers. All right. This is someone. All right. I'm just going to tell you right now. This is a twin flame connection. For some, it's a Gemini. For others, a Capricorn. But I will tell you that this this relationship is like one of those relationships that you can't really just kind of get away from. I mean, like this person, it feels like they're like crazy addicted to you. <laughs> like they're obsessed with you. That's who they are. So if that rings a bell, if you know specifically who I'm talking about, yeah, this person is like obsessed with you. And um, uh, they're just crazy in love with you. Like they're super sweet on you. And they're hiding in the shadows. I just want you to know that. They're hiding in the shadows, behind the scenes. We have Sagittarius here. Cancer. They're hiding in the shadows. They are so, like, uh, it's crazy. Gemini again. Look at all this major arcana here. They want to manifest something, some kind of harmony or partnership of some sort with you. Yeah. They're, they're like, hiding Virgo. Is this person going to come out? Is this person, like, are they going to come out of the shadows here? They're hiding in some dark shadows. You know who this is, though. That They're just telling me to tell you. You know who this is. Okay, yeah. They're going to come out. Yo, they're going to reveal themselves. Now, I don't know if you're going <laughs> to... Some of you might be like, eh, 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 no, thanks. <laughs> and others of you might just be like, oh, my God. Yeah, Aquarius. This person is coming out of this. They're going to take a risk. Total fool. They're going to make a total fool of themselves when they approach you. When that person approaches you and they make a fool of themselves, Virgo, you're going to know that's who I'm talking about here in this reading. Okay. How are they going to make a fool of themselves? They're going to trip over their words, maybe trip over a rock. I don't know. They're going to do something or say something and <laughs> you're going to get a giggle. I feel like you're going to get a giggle because you're going to see like oh look how they're acting around me yeah and like a little clown show or something all right what other messages committed love relationship there you go okay there's financial loss here i don't know why and wealth health and abundance in the reverse hmm <clears throat> okay this person all right that's all this person is like they've lost some money i have to tell you that that's a clarifier they've lost some money that might be one way you're going to know. They've lost money. They're broke. <laughs> they have no money. <laughs> They're not seeking financial help. Don't think that. Um, this this person wants to be in it with you. In it to win it. Long term. Committed love relationship. It's going to turn into that. If, as long as you accept it. It will. Yeah. Okay. Let me see what else. Huh. 
Now this card's all about self. Take a look at yourself, add up the pros and cons of you, balance things out, reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are, as well as those in your heart. Acceptance is key. Don't beat yourself up. Live and let, let live. Huh. I have no idea what that card's about. But as far as like major arcana, I can't even remember. It's all about the self. I don't remember which major. I don't think there's any major arcana card about the self. But the message here is live and let live. I don't know, Virgo. I feel like... I feel like when this person comes toward you with like... They're, they're going to be doing the whole Wayne's World thing with you. Like, Wayne's World. Oh, we're not worthy. I'm not worthy of you. Uh, Virgo, I just kind of feel like you're going to be like... Eh. Like, I'm not that big of a deal. Because Virgos are um, modest and humble. Um, yeah, you are that big of a deal, Virgo. Trust me when I tell you, you are that big of a deal. Any Mercury ruled sign is pretty much a big deal. Yes. Um, and you might just kind of be like, part of you is like, oh, my beating heart, be still my heart. But the other part of you is like, no, you like me too much. Or you're just way too into me. This, so I kind of feel like, <laughs> like I said, this is someone from before. Now, it could be like, Back when you were in high school, you might have dated or in college or maybe before that. But you might not really be kind of into this person. That's the thing. That's the vibe that I'm picking up here. You might feel like you, they put you too much on a pedestal. Hmm. It's, they, they, they just... Virgo's kind of like looking around like, I'm somebody's dream lover? What the... What? Like, you may always want to hear that. But then when it actually comes out, it's like... Uh, no, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, if you need to get yourself in that position, we're like, okay, well, that's how they feel about me. And I don't need to believe it. I just need to accept that's how they feel. You know, I don't know, Virgo. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't pick up really big vibes that you're going to be into this person by the way they come at you like this. Because it, I don't know, it might give you like a creep effect or something. <laughs> All right. My emotional wish is going to be granted. Well, there's that. At least in some way, this whatever this person shows you will fill up a, co a couple of emotional uh, self-esteem holes for sure. Um, but some of you, I feel like it might just take a little while for you to get used to the idea, okay? And I keep wanting to say a new love, but then I kind of feel like it's not. So this, this makes me feel like there's been a really long time since you connected with this person. So long in between so much time in between that this is going to be like a brand new person to you so like if you knew each other when you if you like this was like a first crush in first grade and you haven't seen each other since this is gonna be like a brand new person coming in do you know what i mean or there's just been so much time has gone between you and this person that you've almost utterly completely have forgotten about each other and then they, even though you know them, they present as a new person. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense because sometimes these re these messages I get don't, but that is what I feel is going on here. Okay. Hold on, I'm looking at something. What in the heck is this? Okay. Well, that's interesting. They just gave me the first charm. I wasn't even pulling charms, but it's a flamingo. All right, there's some attachment here to a flamingo. And why isn't this showing up? Hopefully you can see it. Attachment to a flamingo. I don't know. What's your attachment to a flamingo? If you have an attachment to flamingos, in one way or another, this is definitely going to be a message for you. Okay? Uh, you know what? I just want to get... I, I kind of want to get a little bit of my physical features oracle. Just to see, like, what this person... Like, a little more clarification. Okay. There's a mustache, a mustache and red hair. Gosh, yesterday, didn't you have red hair yesterday? Reading and slender. Mustache, red hair, and slender. All right, now, if it's a female, um, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> maybe that's your thing. Like, I just don't date girls with mustaches. But maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe they're um, maybe they're trans or something. I don't freaking know. Well, whatever. You figure it out, Virgo. I'm just giving the message here. 
mustache, red hair, slender, and tattooed. It's either all of them or one, two, three, or four of them. All right? It's, it's, it's either one, two, it could be singular or plural. Okay? Take it however it resonates. If, if you're like, kind of like, I know exactly what this is, you're going to be hearing from this person <laughs> in July. That's all I have to say. And like what you're going to do, I, actually, I'm going to ask. Virgo, I am going to ask, like, what's your response going to be to, <laughs> what might your response be to this person coming forward? Praising on you, loving on you, Virgo. What's Virgo's response going to be? Oh, yeah, I'll marry you. Sure. Even though you're broke. <laughs> Virgo's like, I don't care about money. I only care about love. Mm. All right, you've also got the the two of wands. I can't. I'm Catholic. You're not. Some of you might be like, <laughs> let me see your spiritual resume. I don't know. Okay, so it's going to go one of two ways. I, I really feel like you're going to be at this crossroad. Like, do I stay single and just keep dating other people? Or do I just, you know, accept the commitment from this person? Honestly, they're not really telling me if you're going to say yes to this or if you're going to say no. It's just kind of like, I think your energy is going to be like, hmm, I'll think about it. I need to decide. I really feel like that's your energy. That's what's going to be coming forward for you and I, I don't <laughs> we'll just see how it plays out like you guys said these these readings are gonna be a little short because of mom so um there's a few things i'm gonna skip please forgive me when time is right and things are calm and settled then i will um be back to the hours but let me get a couple of charms for you all right you do have like you have like a i don't know city hall Sorry, I'm using a different camera. It looks like City Hall or some kind of very important building with like dome, a dome top, okay, that might be connected to you in some way, okay? Could be somewhere in Washington. It could be in Rome, maybe Russia or somewhere over in that area, uh, Eastern, Eastern Europe. Um, <clears throat> could be right at Disney or somewhere at Disney as well, they're saying, or... Um, some kind of capital building, I feel. Okay. You also have, which is pretty cool. I sh I'm actually going to steal this charm and I'm going to put it on um, a necklace because I really like it on a chain. Okay. You've got a spider. So there's an attachment to a spider. Maybe somebody loves spiders or doesn't like spiders. Um, something about Halloween, um, something about creating a web. Some of you might be talking to this person on the web as well. Okay. Or you just got a spider somewhere near you. Look up. It might be coming down on top of you. All right, Virgo. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I know it was short. Please forgive me. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to do your weekend reading, and then I will see you back here on Sunday. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye. <music>